Hi guys. Simon suggested <laughs> Simon suggested that I add a voiceover to these videos just to explain what's happening. And I do agree. I felt like the first video was kind of like boring because there wasn't any um, voiceover or anything explaining what's happening. So I decided to explain what's happening in the video. Figured that would be kind of interesting. So I hope you guys are doing well. So this is the first part. I'm rolling out some porcelain. I'm rolling it out so that it could be a coil to add and attach to the piece. I've already attached one coil, I think, by this time. Um, the whole process is really, oh, sorry, hit my knee. <laughs> the whole process is um, kind of interesting. It's, I learned um, this technique while I was in college. Uh, my professor would um, throw large items, but he attached the coils or attached coals to a thrown piece with one of the um, one of his large pieces and another large piece he well he made a lot of large pieces large <laughs> oh my gosh I can't talk today he made a lot of large pieces but uh, one technique was attaching coils and the next technique was um, throwing two large coils or two large like pieces with no bottoms and then attaching them to a thrown vase. If that makes any sense, um, I don't know if I'm there yet. <laughs> I don't know. Definitely not. Um, you'll see that there are some mistakes in how I'm making things and the way that I make things and I'll try to point them out in the video only because like I'm seeing how I'm doing it now and just um, I don't know it's just good practice to kind of video yourself and just kind of critique and see what you're doing that could be improved. So I'm scoring the clay right here because um, scoring is a good way to attach pieces to your pottery. Um, it adheres to pieces, especially when you use something called slurry, which is a mixture of clay, vinegar. Sometimes I put bleach in there so it doesn't smell. Clay, vinegar, and paper, like toilet paper or regular paper. So now I'm going to attach the coil. This um, part is the part that I think you have seen. If you haven't seen the previous video, you should definitely check it out because it's it's very informative and it shows how I um, attach pieces of clay. So it's a good thing for you to see. Um, while I'm thinking about it, uh, also, when you create a giant form, it's best to just spend all your time compressing the clay at the bottom before you go on to throw the sides because with, especially with porcelain, but with clay in general, you want to compress, compress, compress the bottom because um, you can have S cracks, you can have um, deep cracks within the clay and that comes from compression issues with you not compressing the clay. Uh, now I'm scoring the clay on the part that will be attached. The coil will attach to this top part. Um, so I'm scoring, 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 making sure to score on the top, the inside of the rim where the clay will be adhered to, and then the outside of the rim, probably like maybe a half an inch down from the top only because like I'm just trying to make sure that clay adheres to the other piece of clay. Now, mind you, this clay has been drying out for, has been thrown for three days. Like there was the bottom base piece, the first coil, and this is the second coil. So you just want to be careful and just make sure that that clay is adhering. <laughs> like you don't want to um, get to the point where you've thrown a piece and then the, the, uh, two pieces of clay start um, breaking apart because you didn't adhere it correctly. <laughs> I know it's so frustrating. Um, porcelain is a very interesting beast. It's, it's um, not very forgiving, but it's just beautiful to work with. It's so soft and buttery. 
So what I did was I attached, um, I mean, I attached, I brushed slurry onto the piece. The slurry acts as a glue and a binder to bind the two pieces of clay together. So I attached the slurry and now I'm doing a technique where if you look in the mirror, you can see it. It's kind of cool. Um, I'm pressing down. So I'm pressing down to adhere the clay to the piece. Uh, I think I first start on the outside because it's just easier to do. So I'm just pressing down and just trying to adhere the clay. Um, I do put a little bit of pressure on my thumb, my thumb on the left hand side so that it's pressing down, trying to get rid of air bubbles or anything that could be in between um, uh, those junctions of adding the new clay to the old clay. Obviously I over is extended my amount of clay and I don't know if you can see also this is one critique I did not roll out the clay as um, uniform as I should have and so you can see that there's like the snake coil form that wasn't very um, uniform throughout the whole piece so um, you could definitely see it right now it's in front of my t-shirt so it has a dip because it's not as thick as the rest of the coil. And that's what's going to give me issues later on in the video. You'll see that while I'm th trying to throw the clay and bring up that wall, um, there's going to be pieces of the coil that was way too thick and then pieces that are like way too thin. Um, so that's one thing that I wish I would have paid attention to while I was doing it. Uh, but the thing is, I have a little baby and I was trying to do this because I want to have this finished by the, before he turns one. He turns one in April. Um, so I was trying really hard to finish this up so that it could dry and have enough time to dry so that I can fire it later on in the year or later on in, the, in, Mar in March. There's no way it could be fired in March, in April. Um, so for me, it was, this is more about trying to get things done. It's not perfect. It's definitely, definitely not perfect, but it's close to whatever I can do. I don't know while, while the uh, wheel is spinning, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see how it, it's definitely not even, it's definitely not centered, nor is most, um, well, I mean, from what I remember in school, I don't remember my professor's, um, piece being his coal being sent like perfect but I just feel like mine wasn't as perfect and I was adding clay because it was so thin on that side um I just feel like it could have been better if I wasn't so stressed out about trying to get things done before the baby was like freaking out um also you can tell there's like how the wall is kind of thick um, in certain areas and not as thick. I try to overcompensate by pressing deeply in one area and um, taking off the pressure in other areas. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm slowing down the wheel, putting extra pressure in the areas that felt way too thick and gliding through the parts that were um, a little bit too thin. And you can tell like it starts taking shape. It starts like kind of mending and molding and kind of like becoming one with the previous body. Um, I did have some moments as you can see where it's definitely, definitely not centered. Um, but uh, I try my best to kind of um, even out that clay body and just even out that form. Uh, using the clay um, metal tool, it's like a, it looks like a, a oval shape with a with a little um, cut at the bottom. It has like a flat surface, a flat piece at the bottom, and it's like an oval shape. I use that to kind of clean off the body, and yeah, and so that's the that's the second coil. It's not perfect as you can see, but I'm pretty happy with it. So now I'm gonna prep the third coil in this video and it's the same process. I did not use as much clay because I figured that I had so much leftover clay previously and I was kind of nervous. I was like, well, shit, did I? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to curse. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was like, well, shoot, did I uh, like have enough clay? Um, I hope I don't have to do this over again. This is annoying. What am I doing? Blah, blah, blah. You know how it is. You like in your head, you're like, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? What is life? Why? Um, so I was hoping that everything turned out okay. Ugh, it's just like really nerve wracking, especially since this is something that like I've been wanting to do for a good while. Um, also, oh my gosh, guys, I'm like so happy. Like I've been doing like reels on Instagram and they've been doing really well. And like, okay, now I'm adding the third call. I've already attached it, as you can see. Um, I lost a video. Sorry, I'm like jumping back and forth. But I lost a video of me attaching it. It's like, and I can't find several videos. And I don't even know where they are. Like, oh, that just makes me mad. But anyway, I'm sorry. I mean, you've seen me attached it previously in the other video. So I hope you don't mind that I kind of put all the making ones in this, um, all the co attaching coils in this video, only because like, these videos are going to be like five years long if I were to <laughs> didn't speed things up. Um, I would say I was having a better day because it just looks better to me and the coil attached so well. Um, you can definitely see that it's not centered on the side. It's not perfect. So don't come at me. Don't at me. <laughs> but it is like, uh, it's, I guess it's Wabi Sabi. I don't know. I, sometimes I feel like people say Wabi Sabi, but it's not really a uh, like legitimate term because Wabi Sabi to me means like, you, I don't know if it's like you put genuine effort into something and it still is wobbly. It's, that's not wabi-sabi to me. I feel like wabi-sabi is something deeper and something a bit more beautiful and a bit more, I don't know, maybe a bit more abstract. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Wabi-sabi is whatever you want it to be. I feel like this bowl is, I don't know if this bowl is wabi-sabi. I feel like this bowl is like what I want it to be. I want it to be a bowl for a mug for my kid to sit in. I want my kid to sit in it and I want him to be happy and it's going to be great. It's going to be great. <laughs> in my head, I'm like, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. <laughs> and this is going to be the last coal that I add to the pot. Um, I wanted it to be a giant mug. I didn't want it to be a huge, like, um, I don't know. Like I could have put one more coil on it, but I don't know. It just felt like it was better during this time. I don't know if you noticed, but it got to the point where I loved it. Like it wasn't as like bumpily, bumpy and stuff. Bumpily. <laughs> it wasn't as bumpy. And oh my gosh, I'm so happy about this part. It does make me happy looking back on it, too, because I'm like, yay, yay, yay. And I'm like, oh, too much pressure on the outside, too much pressure. I mean, on the inside, you can tell I put way too much pressure and it gets very bulbous. But then I kind of pull back and like it just kind of makes more sense. Like right now, it's getting better. And I think I just kind of messed with it for a good bit, trying to make it work. And yeah it kind of comes together in a weird, funny, funky way. Um, yeah, that's it. I um, wish that I could find a video where I was attaching the other pieces. Um, I was gonna add it to this video since this video is only around 16 minutes long, but I can't find it. So um, I'll look for it and maybe it will be the, the video for next week. Or I was thinking next week um, I might have a video of a mug preview sale because I would love to do a, a, a mug sale soon, hopefully next week. I'm doing a, a mini one today with sprinkles, but hopefully next week it will be like a mug sale with um, different mugs and stuff. Um, and the wall hangings, the wall hangings made me very happy. Now I hope you like it. I hope you'll get to see it. Um, so right now I'm just trying to straighten it out some more. I felt like it was straightened out at one point earlier and I, I think I just kind of I'm like really fiddling with it a little bit too much. Um, I think also I was trying to clean up the edges because I felt like the edges were a bit much. Look how bumpy it is at the um, 
at the bottom. Oh, kind of bothers me. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> It'll be all right. Anyway, um, but yeah, I do hope you guys have been having a good 2021. It's, I feel like it's like going to be a really good year. Like, I know that there'll not be a new normal, but I feel like it's going to be like a wonderful year with um, wonderful things that are happening and wonderful places for all of us to visit, hopefully. We'll see. I don't know. It'll be cool. All right. Let's see. I think now I'm trying to just get all the lines out of it. I don't know if I... I know that I cut off the camera and I was trying to get more of the lines out, but I don't know if I ever succeeded in it. I think I'm trying to clean up that bumpy part. Yeah. It kind of bulbed out, that bulbous area. Yeah, I did. I did. And now I'm cleaning out the top. Um, just making that rim like nice and, and clean, having a clean edge. Which I ended up pinching anyway. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that you enjoyed watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> but thank you so much for coming by and spending time watching it. And part four will be next week. I will talk to you later. Bye.